is about sexual assault, mm-hmm. and this emanated from a story that um, we we read about over the weekend, where a young lady was raped by two rugby players, or allegedly raped by two rugby players, rather. And as a result, she suspects she's pregnant by one of them. Unfortunately, she did not report it because she had been threatened against mm. doing so, mm-hmm. as well as police interference. And one of the things we realized while we're doing our research is many people do not know what sexual assault actually is. A sexual assault is an action which a person sexually touches another person without that person's consent. I also have to make sure we do talk about, yes, women are being raped, but it's also men as well. One in six men do not. Actually, sorry, one in six men will um, report rape. Only one in six, whereas one in three women will report rape. And that's right. of this year, thank God, because people are becoming a lot more educated. Yes. However, another big stigma of why people aren't uh, reporting this rape and stuff like this is because the sh- social stigma of being immoral. You've been touched. A lot of people, you might lose your virginity this way. You know, it's immoral. Your family might feel shame. Yeah. It's a lot of pressure on you. That is not true. It, that is not a burden that no one should ever have to keep. So there's a lot more that goes behind why people are hiding behind this veil of rape. And right. it is becoming a prevalent problem and in think, Kenya. And if you follow the story very keenly on social media about the girl that we were talking about, mm-hmm. one of the things that she said is the reason why she gave up about pressing the issue is because the police guys well, Kwantaka, bribe. Mm-hmm. And you're yeah. like, yeah. I mean, the people I'm that we US. expect to um, keep protect us, protect us right? right? They're not doing their job. Okay, so, so it's like, um, why am I bribing you to actually follow up on my case? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty stupid to right. say the least. I feel like there right. needs to be another institution that's set up to um, deal with these issues because it is not the first time I have heard of a woman giving up on a case because she's gone to see the police mm-hmm. and as a result decided to drop the case and because there was no follow through. Yeah, and, no, and then they ask you for a ton load of money and you're mm-hmm. wondering where am I gonna get? Um, where am I giving you money okay, to look, do your job? I think what we're gonna do is because this is a great platform for you to comment and let us know you might have an organization out there that might help young ladies yes. that might not be on social media let us know and we can also connect women who need this as well as this we're going to give you examples of places you can go and if you have the statement in mind for who's going to believe me well there's always someone who will and there's always some help you can get out there Tracy I would yes. like you to explain what consensual <coughs> sex is because some people just don't seem to understand that yes. when you say no even if you've started the act if you it's decide to say no. no in the middle it is a no exactly and that's the thing actually you've you've explain what consensual mm-hmm. sex means mm-hmm. if i say no regardless on how, how i far along. how much i've drunk and mm-hmm. you feel like i'm not too sure if your no really means a no mm-hmm. but the fact that i have said no mm-hmm. it should remain a no right. and if i say yes then you know what you get the cookie mm-hmm. thing is what we're trying to understand today on the show is why many people do not understand what no means mm-hmm. or what yes means is it arrogance or true amejifanya tu hawataki kusikia ama hawajali ama are people just like what is wrong? I think I think that, 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 that's 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 no, the thing. I think like I've we're really trying to un- to understand. Like, and right. if I see you in a club and you look sexy, right? right? And you know, I try hit on you, and you're like, no. Why do I even want to go the extra mile to try and even okay. touch you? No, and I understand that. But like from talking behind the scenes, I've come to realize something very different. Psychologically, men and women are driven in such different directions. Men mm. are more testosterone driven. They are a lot more sexually driven than women are. So yes, wear what you want, but there are some certain consequences because not every single man is wired the same. But we want to know, is it because of lack of education? Is it because of the glamorization through social media? What is making men and women lose their minds? I want to talk about the glamorization of rape because it is a big thing I've noticed when I got back here, right? Mm -hmm. Kenyans are so passive aggressive with how they deal with things. Something big happens, they make a meme out of it. Something small happens, they make a meme out of it or a Mm. joke. And yes, it's very clever, like that witty commentary really quickly, but sometimes it waters down a big problem that's Mm -hmm. happening at the moment. So if we give good examples, when women come out with their rape stories, I've seen certain bloggers and writers and vloggers come out and say, but who would want to rape her? This whole thing where people go onto social media and say all sorts of cruel things in an effort to, ju- um, you know, to get a reaction from you and from other people. And then they're like, ah, I was just trying to, you know, irritate guys on social right. media. Mm-hmm. No big deal. It's a big deal to somebody, specifically the victim who was abused, specifically the person who will see these things and they're already very mentally challenged by this whole scenario. And then here you are adding insults to their injury right for what so you can get a bunch of retweets and i think we should give our parting shots on this topic because it's just it's heartbreaking to see and that's Mm -hmm. why i'll just stick to the solution part of it which is what dj stretch said Mm -hmm. like 
made the law penalties he, the law respect. penalties zikuwe mbaya sana kwa sababu how else what was scared